Welcome back to Criminal Decent Boys. It is 4th of July weekend here in the great state of Pennsylvania. A good weekend with the Meg Cab, as you can see, full color match, completely covered in mud with the side-by-sides behind it. But today, we are bringing you the most American video that Criminal Diesel has to offer hands down. The first gen sin right here. And we are going to check out Dayton Cody's first gen Cummins that he has owned and built over the past couple years. If you guys seen this in the past couple videos, this thing is absolutely mint. I can't wait to show you guys like up close because we've done a couple videos on it before. Here and there, it's not fully done. A couple clips of it, but we're gonna get you guys in depth with that truck right now. <laughs> Cummins here. Oh yeah. There are cops out this weekend. Truck is not illegal. It just, it looks illegal, if that makes any sense. So hopefully we're going to be able to get there without any issues. Here we are right here. Look at this setup. We got Dance Dually. They just finished up color matching. Woo. <laughs> I do not know what he's doing. What are you guys doing up there? <laughs> what was that? It's only the transmission. What's up, bud? Cars off road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There she is. Florida, Atlantic City, Tennessee. This truck's been everywhere. Pennsylvania for how, however many years. We got this orange crew cab sitting out here that's going off the paint that we will be doing a video on eventually. But today, it's about the good old first gen. Give us a tour, Dayton. <laughs> Give us a tour. Give Don't us a tour. <laughs> Give us a tour. The good old girl here. 15 and a half by 16 Wells, Roadhawks. Add them wide now to the 16 wide. They probably used to be like a 10 wide. So these are custom fads wheels, of course. Well, does not make barrels that deep. It's got roughly like five inch lift on it. It's a four inch guy jacker with a one inch shackle lift from far from stock. Got the Fox shocks with the resis, of course. If you guys remember when we went to Motorama 2022, I believe it was, uh, we replaced the whole front panel right here. We had the whole front end ripped off. We got it thrown together. They finished her up and took it to Motorama at like barely in time. You finished it at what, five o'clock in the morning? Yeah, it was like that. Wiring it up in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't even done when it got to the show. However, she's all fixed now and all the body gaps are perfect. Of course, you guys seen, if you watch that video, the grill is like a rare thousand dollar grill that he found you, you said that's complete oem yeah it's a, a new old stuff no along with a new front bumper he he pretty much completely did redid the whole front end here yeah. to make it how I it is wired the wiring harness and then redid the frame rails in the front all new steering and everything painting their fender wells that everybody hates oh, yeah. They love that. I hope this video is going to release in time. I might have more footage, but I'm going to end up redoing these door panels. I got some overlays that replace this, so they will be silver. And I got dash overlays too that are coming in. And I have a new windshield for it because I cracked. Oh, yeah. He had this freshly tended, and uh, as he was putting it in, it cracked, as you guys can see right there. But this truck is pretty wide. Uh, he's had, what, probably four or five different rim and tire setups on this truck. All of them have been pretty decently big wide whatever 24 by 14 24 by 12s a couple of forces four giados everything like that however he went and got these welds completely custom made on these boggers and this thing i mean you guys can see this truck it sits pretty pretty solid it's definitely not slim you got what three inch spacers in the rear both front and back okay so he's got three inch up front and in the rear the only problem is you can see the drum brake but uh <laughs> that's just, that's just part of the struggle with these kind of trucks my truck has three inch spacers also and you can see the drum too it's it's whatever those axles are just so narrow if you guys don't know first gen set you know just something you gotta deal with until you either axle swap it or yeah it's pretty much it axle swap it right or yeah. just delete the drums he's gonna get this thing out we're gonna go take it for a drive here point that out that's from a perfect wall tap at ucc in the burnout pit Usually when you hit the wall there, it's you're totaling your truck like Greg A. Or that Ranger in 2022 yeah. that went up over the barriers. Oh. A brand new tailgate. This is a dually tailgate because this is going to be turned into a dually. Oh, really? Cab, short bed dually. Start her up. 
Hard to do it when they ended, especially with fresh paint on the hinges. 6265 T3. No manifold. filter. Yeah, we don't need those around here. <laughs> I don't remember what manifold it is. AFE power manifold. I'm sure, this is a stock injector truck, but I did go around put the ARP. Yeah, I did ARP head studs on this, machine the rockers to fit those underneath the valve covers. The pump's turned up. That's about it. Stock, but drivable yeah you just drove this for a, what a week and a half yeah, while your dually is getting painted it's definitely a dailyable truck it's not insane the lighting on this it, it was all amber then you went to white mm -hmm. and now he's back to amber my personal opinion not my truck of course amber is definitely the way to go so i think he made a right choice on that it fits this truck very well amber goes pretty pretty well with the silver what what color or what paint coat is the silver do you know no i don't know you don't know it's, it's a honda, honda color yeah honda sort. last owner uh obviously had no work done to it just pretty much a truck repainted the entire thing a, a honda color or acura color i don't know Let me try and find some sun for you guys here it's a little dirty but still still nice shade of silver have you had a rock in your boggers yet i mean i've had several rocks, several probably millions oh yeah look at that good old honker right that's, there that's nothing what this picks up. oh yeah boggers are not made for nice paint jobs no it's, it's a first gen i don't think this truck was ever intended to have nice paint you know from the factory they're already pretty beat up when they were making these trucks these trucks were not intended to have a nice really anything no. honestly as you can tell by the, my good old first gen hasn't really had any updates to it, especially the paint i mean it, everything was kind of skimped on mainly because just like the evolution of the trucks and stuff like that just hasn't it's not where it is today pretty much obviously i mean it, what 30 40 years ago this is stock though right i mean just it's a stock tailgate but it used to have like a reflector right here and i took that off and had lance polish that out yeah what it is now they did add a little spice up underneath there you just gotta search for it yeah roll pans are pretty common on first gen my truck has a roll pan also i think they really clean up the the look of the rear end of the truck i'm gonna do something with the exhaust right you're doing a full four, five or four inch through the whole thing five but that's custom made i like to redo this four probably just put a new one i like to get it polished out and then get a new exhaust tip on there i do like the stack tip but i might change it up just a little bit what are you thinking i don't know i guess we'll have to find out <laughs> i've been trying because he wants to redo the suspension and everything i've been trying to convince dayton to go with a full king suspension but i don't know how he feels about it i don't know Probably not. <laughs> Honestly, probably not. Probably not. King suspension with chrome accents. I'm telling you what. Whew. No. <laughs> That's uh, that that might be a little bit too showy. What do they call it? Bubba setup? No, this ain't no bubba setup. Yeah, I've had so many people. That's a bubba setup. I'm like, it's bogger setup. It's yeah, different. Yeah. I don't know how many of these like wheels have been made with and the roadhawks to this spec there can't be that many i'd say less than five probably new. i would say just welds in general there can't be that many yeah. starting to come onto the scene a little bit but i mean cutting a wheel in half and then adding extra inches to it is kind of sketchy so if you don't have someone that knows what they're doing cut them up and weld them back together it's uh it's definitely yeah. a big risk so we're gonna see how these bodgers handle on the road sound everything give you guys an in-depth look
is something my trucks don't have. Well, my truck has leather. What, what's the higher upgrade in these trucks? It's it's this, ain't it? Cloth? I mean, this is an LE. So I think I think yours got like the leather type stuff. Yeah. It's kind of like a pleather, I guess. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then I think all the high-end models, just LE, came with all fabric. Because this definitely seems more luxurious than my truck. Yeah, no, these are, these are nice. All power windows. They had a slider back glass, too, from, with the LEs. My truck does not have power windows, and I really wish it did. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of cool not having power windows, but whatever. Fuck, how the hell are you getting this thing? All right, first drive, or first ride, I guess, in the good old bogger setup here. It's been a long time since I've been in this truck. A couple of hours. A couple of hours. Couple about, three, about three or four years. Don't you worry, bud. Here we go. Look at that. Manual air conditioning. air conditioning, too. What the hell do you do down there? Right here, there's a little lever. You push forward and back. Is that, is that why I got fucking air blowing on my feet? I did yes. not know about that. Yes. Mine has that, too? Yes. Oh, look at that. Every time I drove it during the winter, I had this huge gust of air. That's why I didn't drive it usually. I know that that sound there, I, that's I'll fix that. Dude, the boggers aren't really that loud. Like, they're loud, but it's not like, like, they're probably just as loud as my black truck tires. They're not loud, they're not loud. Yeah, they're not loud, but I've had people with, like, oh, I heard you were loud. Like, yeah, 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 yeah
gen owner right here just being obnoxious. That's one nasty candy you got there, bud. <laughs> and we're back. There's the old girl right over there. These trucks have been cruised together since Florida, Orlando, Florida, I guess. It's always cool to be like in the same trucks with the same people in a completely different side of the country. Don't let Dayton fool you. Just because he has a nice first gen doesn't mean he doesn't appreciate this old old girl that I'm in. The perfect paint don't mean much. It means a lot, actually. <laughs> to be fair, first gen is a first gen at the end of the day. Actually, a square body is a square body. It don't have to be a first gen. Something about old trucks. The newer trucks are great. Newer trucks are fantastic. But these older trucks just have a certain certain thing with them that you just need one. And it's just plain and simple. You just need to have one. So it's just for first gen, boys. Just the old first gen. Right, guys that is about it for dayton's video dayton's truck is looking great as always it's probably the next time you guys will see it is when he's doing more stuff to it or we'll do a full video on it at least we're gonna enjoy the rest of the day you guys have a good one i'll see you in the next one see ya bye brother Just broke four of my fingers to break most of the ball.